Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? This is Coach Ray, and thank you for joining me on our Saturday Sick Mobility class. So for today, I actually do have two six foot six here. Okay, this is what we're gonna we're gonna be using for the entire class here. Okay, and so we're gonna work through some different articulations. We are gonna get into some 90-90s today for the strength training portion, and then we're also gonna go through a pretty well-rounded warm-up. I like to do a lot of rotation, so we're gonna add some of that kind of stuff in here, okay? And so for today, you're only gonna really probably need a pad or a pillow of some kind, something for us to know on a little bit later, but uh, that, that's what we're gonna start with here. And so as usual, right, if, you, if you're experiencing any pain or discomfort, reduce the range of motion, reduce the amount of tension, or ir uh, irradiation here, okay? I wanna try to keep you out of pain to make sure that we're doing the movements effectively and safely. Also, if you have a yoga block available, has a way to regress the 90-90s a little bit, or shin box, then that would be useful to have currently at this point in time, okay? And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get started here with the warm-ups, okay? And I'm gonna have one stick here, all right? We're gonna start with one stick, and I'm actually gonna kind of turn to the side a little bit just so you can see a little bit of a, of a diagonal profile here. So we're going to start at the ankles. We're going to progress through these relatively quickly, okay? And so what I'm going to do here, the stick's going to be directly out in front. I'm going to get into a horse stance, so about roughly shoulder width apart. Toes are pointed forward here, okay? And so what I'm going to do, take the stick, hold it chest height, pick up, angle in towards me just a little bit. I'm going to drop my hips down, keep it stacked onto the spine here, okay? And so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start with tucking my pelvis in, so do what's called a posterior tilt. Now, as you do this, you should feel your glutes turn on, okay? And now we're gonna tilt the opposite direction. We're gonna tilt anteriorly, so I'm trying to get my lower back muscles here to activate, okay? We're gonna slowly work in and out of this. So we're gonna tuck in, breathe out as you tuck in. Now I'm gonna tuck out the opposite way, I'm gonna breathe out. So breathe in, tuck in, good. Sorry, we're gonna breathe in as we tuck the opposite way here, okay? Breathe out. Feel those glutes working, okay? Tuck out, breathe in. Now tuck in, good, okay? We're gonna come back to neutral. So now we're gonna do lateral bumps, okay? And so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna face this way so you can see how my hips are moving. And what we wanna do here is we wanna tilt laterally. So we're gonna bump one hip up at a time. So stick is still in the same place, same angle. What we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the hips stacked under the it's fine, and we're gonna bump the hips up to the left, okay? Now we're gonna bump the hips to the right. Only trying to make sure that movement is from the hips. Bump to the left, right, breathe, left, right, left, Right, so a couple more, left, right, feel those glutes and hip muscles working, left, and right, back to center, okay, now we're going to go through a quick ankle warm up, let's actually switch our hands, okay, we're going to switch our hands, now my left hand's on top, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to start with teeter tottering on the ankle drills here. So I'm gonna keep both heels off the floor the entire time, okay? What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna bring my right heel up as high as I can. I wanna be on the ball and toes of my right foot, and now I'm gonna bring up my left foot and at the same time drop my right heel down towards the floor. But again, we're keeping the heels off the floor. Now we're gonna go right, heel up, and hip, Level doesn't change, hips stay the same. Now we're gonna go left heel up, 
Keep the shoulders down. Make sure you're staying stable. Right heel up. Feel those foot and ankle muscles working. Left heel up. Good. Right heel up. Good. Left heel up. Let's go one more time each. Right heel up. And left heel up. Back down. And perfect. Okay. And so now what we're going to do here, I'm going to take a little bit more of a narrow stance. Okay. And I still kind of want to be, have my knees bent, pelvis stacked under the spine, okay? I'm going to go from a, side, a little bit of a side profile here again, right? And so what I'm going to do from this position here, I'm going to have the stick in line with my toes here, okay? So it's going to be a pretty significant angle, as you can see. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drive the stick down with my left hand first, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up and rotate this right hand back. I want to keep my hips forward. So I'm driving this right hip forward as I'm rotating to my right. So I want to keep all the rotation in my spine here. I'm not rotating at the hips. Now I'm going to come back. And now I'm going to drive my right hand down into the floor. And now I'm going to rotate to the left. And again, as you're rotating to the left here, make sure that you're driving that left hip forward to keep your hips even. Now I'm gonna bring my left hand back, grab a stick on my left, drive that left hand down, open up to the right. Good. Bring the right hand back, drive that right hand down. You should feel like your lats are engaging, right? We're trying to create that irradiation and that tension throughout the entire line. Bring that left hand back, Drive that left hand down one more time. Open up and rotate to the right. Good. Bring the right hand back. Drive that right hand down. Now open up to the left. And good. Bring it back. And perfect. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back into that horse stance. And I'm going to take the stick. And I'm going to hold it at the end or as far as I comfortably can here, okay? And so what I'm going to do from here, we're going to start to do some rotations. But I'm going to keep it more like a flow, so the tempo is going to be a little bit quicker than usual here. And so I'm going to reach out, okay? Grab with the stick. I want to pull the stick apart lightly, okay? Get that upper back activation. Make sure you're in that good horse stance. I'm going to rotate to the left. Keep the hips forward. Rotate to the right, left, still pulling the stick apart lightly, only about 15 to 20% here. Now we're going to go right, good, left, right, do not let the hips rotate yet, we're not there, we're going to get there though, left and right, now we're going to start to rotate the hips, so as I'm rotating to the left, my hips are rotating, but my feet are not pivoting here. We're gonna rotate to the right. Good. Left. And right, you should notice an increase in rotation. Left. And right. Good, now we're gonna to start to add in a pivot. So I'm going to rotate to my left, and I'm going to pivot my right foot. I'm going to get a lot of internal rotation on that left hip here. I'm going to rotate to the right. Pivot my left foot. Get more rotation. Left. Pivot that right foot. Good. I'm going to rotate to the right. Pivot that left foot. Good. Rotate to the left. Pivot that right foot. One last time. Rotate to the right. Good. Bring it back to center. Good. 
Okay. And so now we're going to get into a little bit of bow and arrow. What we're going to do here is we're going to work in and out of it. Instead of staying in the hold, we're going to use it as a way to kind of prime the lateral lines here. Okay. And so what I'm going to do, take a hip width stance, toes are facing forward. Okay. Have the stick out to my left. Okay. My left hand is on the sticker. Right. So that's what I use personally for a good marker. Take my right hand, reach up over the top, thumb facing down towards the floor. And I'm going to drive my hips away. And then I'm going to extend my hands. Good. Bring them back in. And hips come in as well. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Drive my hips out. Extend my hands. Oh, back in. Let's go a few more reps here. Drive the hips out. Extend the hands. Back in, good, drive the hips out, make sure you breathe one more time, good, and then drive the hips out, extend the hands, and back in, good, and now we're going to switch sides, okay, so same thing, stick's going to be about roughly 8 to 10 inches, whatever's most comfortable for you, okay. Take the left hand up, reach over the top, extend the hands, extend the hips away from the stick, and then extend the hands out. Back in. Good. Drive those hips out, then extend the hands. Back in. Let's go three more. Drive the hips away, extend the hands. Good. Let's go two more here. Drive the hips out. Extend the hands. Good. So one more time. Drive the hips out. And extend the hands. Excellent. Then bring it back in. Good. So last one. Now we're gonna get the shoulder blades moving around a little bit. We're gonna do some kayaking, okay? So I'm going to take that horse stance again, okay? So it's pointed forward, drop my stance down. I'm going to grab the ends of the stick here, okay? To start with the right hand up, I'm going to bring that right hand through. Good, left hand comes up and over. Bring the left hand through. Good, bring the right hand through. Excellent, and the left hand. Your pace should be in line with mine, all right? You don't want to go faster. You want to keep this pace going here. Make sure you breathe. Make sure you feel that shoulder blade gliding along the rib cage here. Get a really good stretch going. for today and so we are going to get into some 9090s so again if you have a yoga block or maybe a pillow or pad or something for you to place under your front knee uh, if you're having any pain or discomfort there um, then you can either go to a, a shin box or use a block under your knee to kind of relieve some of that pressure here and so what I'm going to do I'm going to grab both six foot sticks okay we're going to go to the floor and I'm going to start with my right leg forward here, okay? So, I want to get into this position here, okay? Now, what we're, what we're looking for here is we're trying to make sure we're maintaining good hip position as we go through these drills. And so, if we need to adjust, pull the feet in closer, okay? That would be more of a shin box. So, from here, what I'm going to do is we're going to take one stick and I'm going to place it on the outside of my right leg. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to grab at the top here. 
And what I want to do from here is I just want to activate the hips. And so I'm going to drive that right hand into the floor and I'm going to drive both knees into the floor. 60% tension. You shift a lot of those tissues turned on. So we're going to get the internal rotation on this back hip, external rotation on this front hip. You're going to hold. Three, two, one, and relax. Knees off. We're going to do that again. We're going to go to 70%. Okay? We'll drive the stick down. Drive the knees into the floor. Hold. Now with this left hand, you can have it hovering or on the ground to help keep you up. In three, two, one, and ease off. We're going to go one more time. Okay? Drive the stick down. Drop both knees into the floor. Hold. In three, two, one, and ease off. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to pick up the second stick. Okay, and I'm going to have the sticks at three and nine o'clock. Okay, and so I'll wiggle over here so I can get a camera view. And so what I want to do from here is I'm going to use the sticks to tension, and then I'm going to start to move my hips around a little bit or start to manipulate the hip ankle. So we're going to work on this back hip first. So being in this position, I want to drive both six down, 60% tension, fill all those tissues in the core turn on. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to drive my left foot into the floor and bring my left knee up as high as I can. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Ease that tension. Okay, so we're getting a lot of the obliques to work here, okay? So we're going to do that again two more times. Drive the sticks down, 70%. Drive the foot into the floor, bring that left knee up. And you're still driving that front leg into the floor, that front knee, that right knee here. Hold. In three, two, one. Ease off. We're going to go one more time, okay? Drive both sticks down, 80%. Drive that foot to the floor. Bring that left knee up, driving that right knee to the floor here. Try not to change angle of the spine and torso, right? Trying to keep that angle the same. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay? And so now I'm going to bring that stick down there. We're going to bring the, uh, one stick down. What we're going to do here, we're going to do some activation of a bow and arrow in this position. So let's go back over here. And so what we're going to do is being in this position, I'm going to have my right arm up, okay? Left hand's going to be on the stick. Now, the angle of the stick is at about 9 o'clock, okay? I'm going to have my hand up. What I'm going to do from here, we're going to drive both knees down. I'm going to... Pull that left elbow into my side. Right hand is reflexively pushing up. Three, two, one, and ease off. You're gonna feel all these tissues here turn on in that left side, okay? We're gonna do two more. So here, now you're gonna drive both knees down. And pull that left hand in towards the hip. Hold. Three, two, one, ease off. Good. We're going to do one more here, okay? Same thing. Drive both knees down. Pull that left hand in towards the hip. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Good. Now we're going to switch sides. Okay. So, angle myself a little bit better here. So you can see. Okay. So, again, this is one of those drills where if you're getting a pinching in a hip or any kind of discomfort, right, go into a shin box or use a block under that front leg to kind of alleviate some of that tension or some of that uh, pressure. And so, we're going to go through the same thing we do on the 
opposite side. I'm going to take this thick, place it up here, around the outside of that front leg, that left leg. Okay, now what I'm going to do, just going to simply activate. Okay, so I'm going to drive the stick into the floor, drive both knees into the floor. Make sure you breathe. Hold, three, two, one, ease off. Also, with this right hand, if you need to, you can always place it on the stick for a little extra support, okay? So from here, drive the stick into the floor. Left hand, drop both knees into the floor. Hold. Three, two, one. Ease off. Good. Okay, we're going to go one more. Hands are slipping. <laughs> All right. Drive stick into the floor. Drop both knees into the floor. Hold that tension. Three, two, one, and ease off. Okay. And so now we're going to grab both sticks here. Okay. And we're going to have them at the three and nine position. We're going to do the same thing on this side, right, as we did the other side. So I'm going to take sticks here. Okay. I'm going to grab at about shoulder height. That's so what we're going to do from here. I'm going to drive both sticks down into the floor, 60%. I'm going to drive the front knee into the floor, drop my foot into the floor, and lift this back hip up. Breathe. In three, two, one. Ease off. Good. Okay. Try to keep those hips and that belly button forward here. You don't want to rotate into it. So from here, drop both sticks down. Draw that front knee into the floor, flip right foot to the floor, lift that right knee up. Hold. In three, two, one, ease off. Good. Okay. I'm going to go one more time here. Good. Drive both sticks down. Drive that left knee to the floor, lift that right knee up. Try to get up as high as you can. And three, two, one, and ease off. Good. Okay. And so now we're going to do that same bow and arrow on this side. So if you're cramping, don't be afraid to come out of it, right? And one hip's going to be a little less mobile than the other. That's normal. So Adjust however you need to to make sure that you can get to these positions here, okay? And so what we're going to do here, left hand grabs the top of the stick here, right hand up. Going to drive both knees down and pull that right hand in towards the hip. And three, two, one, and ease off. Good. We're going to do two more here. Okay, same thing, left hand is up, we'll drive both knees down and pull that right hand in towards the hip. Hold, three, two, one, ease off, good, one more time, okay, drive both knees down. Pull that right hand in towards the hip. Hold. Keep pulling. Three, two, one. Ease off. Good. And that's going to conclude oh, the 90-90s here. Okay. So this woken up all those lateral lines, the obliques, the internal rotation on that back hip here. Okay. And so now we're going to get into a little drill that's kind of like the bow and arrow here but what I like to use this for is oblique activation or getting an entire lateral line to activate here okay and so what I'm going to do I'm going to have my feet 
at about roughly hip width apart. Toes are pointed forward. Now in terms of where the stick is, I'm going to have it in the same position I would for a bow and arrow here. Okay. So I'm going to have my hand extended and I want to grip below the shoulder here. Okay. Grip below shoulder height. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to activate the stick, activate by driving the stick into the floor with 60% tension. You should feel the lateral tissues turn on here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the stick into my side and I'm going to reach up with my right hand, driving that stick down to 60%, trying to get that lateral line to activate on that left side. Pull. From three, two, one, come out, and good. We're gonna do two more here. Now, with this, we can easily ramp that up, okay? So we're now we're gonna go, I want you to be at about 75% here, okay? We're gonna get to some submaximal numbers. Arm is straight, first thing, drive the stick down, feel those lateral tissues activate. We're gonna pull that elbow in, still driving the stick into the floor with 75%. Laterally flex over, reach up with that top hand. Keep driving that stick down, 75%. Hold. In three, two, one. Come back out. And good. He's off. One more time. Let's go with 90% this time, okay? So. Now we're gonna first activate, drive the signal to the ground, 90%. Gonna bring that stick in, bring the elbow into the side, flex over, reach up with that right hand. Hold, keep driving that stick down. In three, two, one, ease off. And good. Now we're going to switch sides, okay? Feet are in the same position, okay? Stick's now on the opposite side. Have the hand down here, okay? First thing you do, activate 60%. Drive that stick down. Those tissues activate. Pull that elbow in. Reach up with the left hand. Drive that stick into the ground here. We should be keeping that right shoulder blade locked down. Hold. In three, two, one. Ease off. Good. So we're going to got two more here, okay? 75% is going to be the next ramp up. Always come out of the, the, the drill the same way that we go in it, okay? Don't just immediately come off the drill. Drive stick down, 75%. Good. Bring that right elbow in, extend up, drive that stick into the ground, 75%. Hold. Make sure you breathe. Three, two, one, come out. Excellent, good. We got one more time here, okay? We're gonna be at 90%. Now remember, if this is if you're having any pain in the shoulder, you can always manipulate the leverage however needed, okay? One more time, 90%. Drive the stick down. Bring that right elbow in. Reach up with that left hand. Drive. Should be at 90% max effort here. Pushing the stick into the floor. Filling the entire lateral chain here. Activate. Three, two, one, come out of it slowly, and ease off. All right, perfect. So that concludes the strength training portion there, okay? Kind of went a lot with the lateral lines and working with the oblique system, got in a lot with the hips, okay? And so now we're gonna get into some stretching, and I'm gonna go to a half kneeling position here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have my left knee forward, okay? And I'm gonna actually grab the second stick here, and we're gonna get into stretching out and opening up this hip flexor area, right? 
So we're gonna open up that, that complex of muscles here. So on the back foot, my back foot is flat. I don't wanna have my big tongue to the floor. I don't wanna dorsiflex my ankle. I wanna make sure my ankle is extended here, okay? So what I'm gonna do, left leg is forward, okay? I'm gonna have both sticks in line with my left toes, okay? Now the distance of where your foot is is gonna depend on your mobility, okay? So from here, I'm grabbing the sticks at shoulder height. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive sticks into the floor, 10% tension. I'm gonna push my back foot into the floor, squeeze my right glute, and you should feel a, an activation of a stretch in the hip flexor complex in the front of the hip. If you're tight in your quads, you're probably gonna get a quad stretch too. We're trying to activate those tissues here, okay? We're gonna keep this activation, and now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna to start to rotate to my left, both sticks are following. You're gonna get an increased stretch on that right hip. So driving that foot down, activating that glute, bring it back to center, and ease off. Good. Okay, now we're gonna bring that left foot to the outside of the left stick here, okay? This right hip, the position of the right hip doesn't change, but now we're gonna get into those adductors a little bit, okay? So we're gonna drive both sticks down, drive the back foot into the floor. Now I'm gonna shift diagonally towards that left hip, splitting the hips pretty significantly here, okay? Keep that activation. Glute should still be active here, right? Enforcing that hip extension. Now I'm gonna rotate both sticks to the right towards my back leg, and there's gonna be an increased stretch in the adductors, okay, in that groin area. Hold, okay, make sure you're breathing. Good, go ahead and come back, come out slowly, and relax, ease off, good. Now we're gonna switch sides, okay? So, sticks are in line with the soles of the front foot, okay? Hands are still at shoulder height. First thing you're gonna do, drive sticks into the floor, drive that back foot into the floor. Now I'm gonna squeeze the left glute here, okay? So those interior tissues start to stretch out. We have to have some activation in these stretches here in order for the tissues to hold it a little bit longer, right? So now I'm gonna rotate both sticks towards my front leg or to my right, increasing that stretch. Make sure you breathe. Back to center. Good, and ease off. Excellent, good. So always remember to ease out of these stretches. Don't just come out of it, okay? So now we're gonna bring that right foot to the outside of the right stick here, okay? Arms, hands are still at shoulder height, okay? Arms straight, drive the both sticks down, drive that back foot to the floor, squeeze the left glute, now shift towards that front leg, right? We're shifting diagonally. You're gonna get a stretch in those short adductors, that groin area. Okay, so if you squat a lot, barbell squats or whatever, the adductors can get pretty tight, so this is a really good stretch for that. And now I'm gonna rotate to the left, towards my back leg, get that increased stretch here. Make sure you breathe. Three, two, one, back to neutral. And slowly ease out of it. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna put one stick down and I'm gonna switch legs again. We're gonna get into the snake and reach, okay? So for this, my suggestion would be to have that front leg out just a little bit more, right? Cause you can move it in 
uh, especially if you're really, really tight in the chest and ribcage area here, okay? I'm gonna have the stick close to my, uh, on the inside of my left leg here. I wanna have it roughly about mid thigh, okay? I'm gonna take my right hand, thumb facing down, I'm gonna grab up basically right above my head, okay? Then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to snake my left shoulder through and then wrap it around my back, okay? And so it should be under the shoulder blade here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly work my right hand up towards the top of the stick and I'm going to wrap my hand around like so, okay? Now what I'm gonna do from here, if this is a stretch, just hold this position, okay? Now what I can do is I can start to manipulate the bottom of the stick to increase that stretch. And so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pick up the bottom of the stick and move it towards the right or my back leg, get an increased stretch in the chest, the rib cage and the shoulder. Make sure you breathe. We're gonna move it back, walk the right hand down, right? And slowly come out. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna switch sides here, okay? And again, if, if, if this is painful, right? If you're getting a lot of pain or tension in the shoulder, just back off the stretch. Don't walk your hand up, instead keep it down if that's comfortable, okay? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be in that same position now because it was on the other side. Stick is in line with my mid thigh here. I'm gonna take my hand, reach over the top, thumb facing down toward the floor. Now I'm gonna snake this right shoulder through. Get it behind the scapula, okay, or shoulder blade. Now I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna walk this left hand up, wrap it around, good. Hold the stretch here, okay? And make sure you breathe in these stretches, do not hold your breath, okay? Now I'm gonna take this bottom of the stick and move it across towards my back leg or towards the left. Feel that increased stretch in the chest and the rib cage. Feel all those tissues open up here. Okay. Oh. Breathe. Bring it back. Good. Walk your hand down. Okay. Now slowly come out. Good. Okay. And so now we're gonna to go to a standing position. Okay. I'm gonna grab both sticks here. Okay. We're gonna get into a double monkey hang. Okay. And so what I wanna do here is I'm gonna get a pretty big split. So I wanna have a relatively uh, big split here. We are gonna add in some rotations with these. Okay. And so what I wanna do from here, right leg is gonna be forward. Left leg is back. You want to try to keep that left leg go, uh, facing forward. You don't want that left hip to be facing outwards or the foot to be facing outwards, okay? And again, just your position is needed. I'm going to grab the tops of the sticks here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is if the sticks are, the bottom of the sticks are in line with the heel of my front foot, grab a top, and then I'm going to dry, drop this, my back knee down toward the floor, my right knee is traveling forward, okay? I wanna get into this good hang position. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna activate my shoulder blades. I'm gonna lightly push the sticks into the ground about 15%, so my shoulder blades are gonna depress. It's gonna go down towards my hips. Now I'm gonna to rotate to the right. Good, rotate to the left. Good, rotate to the right. Left, right, and left. Back to center, and come up. Good, and now we're gonna switch sides, okay? This is still gonna be the same, right? Hands are up. Let's try to keep that right hip facing forward, okay? I'm gonna drop my back leg down. <sighs> Activate the shoulder blades, pull the push the sticks into the floor lightly, 
We'll rotate to the left, to the right, left, right, left, and right, back to center, and up. Perfect, good. Okay, so now we're gonna do some rotations. We're gonna work on some rotations here, okay? We're gonna do something kind of similar to the bow and arrow, okay? But it's gonna, the position is gonna be a bit different, okay? And so, I wanna have my feet about shoulder width apart, toes are facing forward. I'm gonna have the stick on the inside of my left foot, or uh, where the ball of my foot is, okay? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the take my left hand, I'm gonna reach up to the top of the stick, okay? So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna start to hinge back, okay? And I'm gonna drive my hips back. Now with my left arm, I'm not letting my arm come up like this. My arm is coming to the side here. I wanna get a real good chest stretch here, okay? I'm gonna hold that position. Make sure you breathe. I'm gonna place my right hand on the stick, okay? And now what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to extend and push that right hand out and drive that right hand down towards the floor. So I'm gonna get some active rotation here, okay? Getting some of that posterior line to be a little active. I'm gonna let, pull my right hand back in, let go of with my right hand and come up. Excellent, let's do that one more time, okay? Here, okay, we're gonna to start to hinge back. Stick comes out to the side, back here, good. Take the right hand, grab the stick. Now extend that right hand out, drive that right hand into the floor about 15 to 20%. Let's get a little bit of activation here. Hold. And ease up. Let go with the right hand. And come up. Excellent. Let's switch to the other side here. Okay. So, right hand is up. I'm going to hinge back. Good. Take advantage of that chest stretch. Okay. Open up some of those anterior tissues here. Place the left hand on the stick. Extend that left hand out and drive that left hand into the floor. Hold. In three, two, one, ease off. And come back up. Good. We're gonna go one more time here, last one, okay? Drive the hips back, you wanna hinge. So it comes out to the side here. Good. Left hand on a stick. Extend that left hand out. Drive that left hand into the floor. Get that active rotation. Make sure you're breathing here. Ease off. Let go with that left hand. And come back up. All right, excellent. And that concludes today's Saturday Live Stick Mobility class. I appreciate you all coming in today and I hope the class was good. Be sure to check out the content on our YouTube channel. And also, stay safe folks and have a wonderful day.